guys welcome back to my channel if you're coming across my video for the first time hi i'm zoe serada and this is my channel if you're a returning subscriber i really do appreciate you coming back to watch me do my thing whatever the thing is okay on that note you guys do not forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below also don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when i post a new video with that being said let's get into this On today's video, <laughs> we are going to be reacting to Elizabeth Warren's story. Just in case you guys don't know, she was a victim of her father's abuse. That is all I know. That's as far as my knowledge goes. And I know this because, because <laughs> a subscriber reached out to me and said, talked about her story a little bit and was like i should react to it so i'm going to do the due diligence is that what it's called yeah and react to the video so <laughs> let's get into this this is the story of elizabeth fritzel an 18 year old girl who had created quite a sensation by her sudden disappearance for 24 years until she was found by the police along with a terrible secret Elizabeth lived in Amstetten, Austria with her parents, Josef and Rosemarie Fritzel, and her six siblings. Being a victim of her father's anger and abuse since childhood, Elizabeth planned to run away from home once she turned 18 years old. She hoped to make a better life for herself. When she turned 18, Elizabeth began to work in a restaurant in Linz, Austria. But just when things were getting better for her, on August 29, 1984, Elizabeth suddenly disappeared. Unable to find her anywhere, her mother, Rosemarie, filed a missing persons report. Shortly after that, the first evidence of Elizabeth's mysterious vanishing arrived in the form of a letter. The letter purported that she was staying with her friend and that she wished to never be found by her family. That in itself was quite a mystery since none of her friends knew her whereabouts. Her father, Yosef, turned the letter over to the police to further assist in their investigation. But Yosef thought otherwise. He believed that Elizabeth was under the control of some religious cult. The letter and her father's firm belief led the whole world to also believe that Elizabeth had left on her own accord, and the mystery remained unsolved. From here on, the story gets really murky. Her parents, friends, and the police knew that Elizabeth was missing, and that she probably had run away and was now leading a life that she chose to live. But what they didn't know was that Yosef, her own father, was actually behind the whole disappearance facade. Elizabeth was being held captive by her own father in a small, concealed room behind eight locked doors in her house's basement. The room was soundproof, and she remained his prisoner for 24 years. In those 24 years, Elizabeth went through a series of horrific abuses that any normal human being could hardly endure. Yosef visited her with food and water every three days, but slowly his physical abuse... Why is he visiting her? Why is he visiting her? If he, if he wants to put her in a state of... I don't understand his... Well, why is he visiting her? Abuses turned into sexual abuses. This sequence of sexual crimes against her while being held captive led Elizabeth to conceive as many as seven times. She. I'm really getting tired. I don't think I want to watch this anymore. I'm feeling somehow. Seven. One, two, three, four. Seven children, and this man just kept his daughter captive. Seven children. What was his game? And her children were forced to live in the dungeon for many more years in the worst conditions possible, without even a glimpse of the outside world. Yosef continued to operate smoothly under the very nose of his family. Out of Elizabeth's seven children, one died soon after birth, and three lived with her in the basement. However, the other three children, deemed as foundlings, lived with Rosemary and Yosef. In strange ways, each time a baby appeared at their doorstep, Yosef explained it as Elizabeth's way of dumping her own children on her poor parents. But no crime is perfect. Yosef's downfall came in the form of Elizabeth's daughter, Kirsten. 
Being locked up downstairs for years together, Kirsten felt extremely sick. Being a mother, Elizabeth could only request that her own father take her daughter to a doctor to save her life. Yosef agreed and took Kirsten to the hospital. She was diagnosed with a critical case of kidney failure. Yosef claimed to have found her on the road, but the hospital staff found the story very puzzling and notified the police. The police, on investigating further, found Yosef's claims totally obscure. <laughs> you guys, when God wants to do something, he does it without question or even answering anybody. Like, this man has kept his daughter for how long? As she has grown from 18 to God knows how old she is now. And she has had seven children. And this man did not think it to release his... Somebody else. It's gross. It's still disgusting. But this is your own daughter. Finding himself in a tight spot, Yosef decided to release Elizabeth along with her other three children. The police were informed anonymously about the whole proceedings, and on 26th April 2008, Josef Fritzl, age 73, was finally arrested. On 19th March 2009, Fritzl was sentenced to life imprisonment without possible parole for 15 years. He is currently serving out his sentence in Garston Abbey in Upper Austria. He has been kept in a special cell for the criminally insane. Elizabeth, her children, and mother were taken under care and underwent medical and psychological treatment to combat the mental trauma of the heinous crime. Later, they were moved to an unnamed village in northern Austria to make a full recovery. Such is life when the one you look up to fails you the most in the most unexpected way. Although Yosef got the punishment he deserved, it was not enough to undo all the crimes that he committed against his own daughter. There is no respite for Elizabeth and her children from a horrific past. I thought this was going to be something really interesting, but it just turned out to be disgusting. If you guys like, want to see the full video, I'll be leaving the links down in my description. This is beyond disgusting. Like, what would drive a father? This is not just a stranger on the road that she met, maybe because she ran away. This is her own blood. I'm disgusted. I just, I'm very. You guys, tell me what your thoughts are. I don't know what to say. I was actually eating. <laughs> And I could not eat anymore. This is disgusting. It is. Like, why would you want to do that to your own flesh and blood? If they were strangers, okay, you say, okay, thank God for saving her life. Thank God for saving her life too from her own father. But come on, how does it sound? Like, things like this are going around the world every single day and it's only people that are brave enough or people that have survived and decided to just tell their story that's the only way you know that things like this are actually happening it's crazy and i don't think i want to experience that Well, you guys, like I said before, I'll be leaving the link down in the description. The links down in the description from the channel that I got it from, so you guys can go and also show them like support and also show me support. I'll be doing more reaction videos because I like it. <laughs> it's fun, and at the same time, you get to see another side of me. So, yeah. You guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to turn on notification bells, like I said before, so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Don't forget to love yourself because I love you. And have a beautiful day or night, whichever one it is. Bye.